Hello, fairy finders and fairy seekers. Welcome back to Fairy Quest and another episode of Ask the Fairies for Universal Signs for the week of August 23rd through August 29th. This one is a little different than I expected. Rather than going through on the video and finding various signs like shadows and things like that, I was urged to find the beautiful things this time and to give meaning to those in such a way as their significance spiritually to all of us, to humanity. So that is what this video is. Enjoy. First to appear, a dove, which represents peace at the deepest level for us. This is a spirit messenger bringing you the rest of the signs for this video. Next, I'm smelling roses very strongly in the air and the fairies are taking me to the roses to share with you the spiritual gift that the roses give about love, honor, faith, beauty, balance, and wisdom. These are human attributes that we came in with naturally. We were born with these attributes. The problem is, is that much of humanity is behaving in the opposite way. And the fairies are saying, stop and smell the roses. Let them remind you. Let their scent remind you and their beauty remind you of the spiritual understanding you had when you came in and all that you are capable of being. Pansies, beautiful, varied colored pansies, variegated flowers, living together in absolute harmony. Pansies are about free thinking and consideration. Consideration meaning considering the free thinking of others, consideration of others' free thinking, giving others the consideration we would like to have for ourselves. The fairies are brilliant here. They know exactly what humanity requires right now. The growth of green that you see belongs to the long-stemmed orange iris flowers. These flowers are spiritually considered a divine link between the spirit realm and the earth realms. It is believed to bring forth divine truth, hope, and rebirth. As you can see, there are no long-stemmed orange irises on the screen. We do have the green growth, but that is all we have. Also, the roses that you were shown and also the pansies that you were shown look to be withering now. Are the fairies showing us these flowers not in their most vibrant state or not existing at all because they're sharing with us that these attributes of humanity are becoming non-existent? Hmm, food for thought. Right next to the green growth for the long-stemmed orange irises was a set of steps that takes you up to the sidewalk from the street. I took this as the fairies showing us that humanity needs to level up and realize the things that are being taken away, the things that are disappearing, and to remember those important things such as freedom that are depicted on the mural on the wall. What I was focused on here were the clouds in the sky that actually again look like clouds. But then what caught my eye was the water tower which my husband and I called the Tin Man. And as soon as I thought that the song Tin Man by America came into my head. Not the whole song, just one line. And that line was but Oz never did nothing to the Tin Man that he didn't, didn't already have. 
information often comes to me like this from the fairies, from spirit, from past loved ones. So when I heard this line, especially since I asked for signs for this video, I knew it had to be important for you to hear. And what I think the fairies are trying to share here is that the Tin Man did not need magic <laughs> from anyone. He already had a heart and he didn't need anyone to tell him how to use it. He was already kind and loving and quite a wonderful being. The point here, perhaps the fairies are sharing that it seems many people no longer have a heart. However, if you consider what the movie's main premise was, was the lion looking for courage, which meant what? He was afraid, very fearful. And the scarecrow was looking for a brain. And the tin man was looking for a heart. So what happens here? Humanity gets afraid and their brains become overwhelmed and take over the emotions of the heart. Compassion goes out the window. Everything the heart stands for goes out the window. And for what? Fear never needed to be there. The lion had the courage. And the brain, that's lost all its logic, but the scarecrow has it. It just needs to be used. Come on, humanity. Let's level up. The next sign here were these flowers. Last year, there was one single flower growing out of the base of the brick wall. This year, look at them. This just goes to show that no matter what, humanity can grow. We're not going into non-existence, at least if we don't allow it to happen. But I think the fairies are showing here that they made room for everyone. And look how different every flower is. You've got purple, you've got pink, you've got white, variegated colored flowers. No one pushed anyone out for being different or wanting something different. They didn't push anyone out for turning left or turning right or growing up the wall. We could learn something from this. And yes, flowers, plants have feelings and they are aware of one another. They are aware of us. We could learn something from them. Thankfully, though they're beautiful creatures, the fairies did not bring me a real puma, <laughs> but they did bring the word to my attention on the camper that you see on the screen. And a puma, another word for a cougar or mountain lion, is about vitality and energy and power and strength. It also signifies skill and cunning and stealth because of those attributes. It's all about exercising patience when dealing with various issues in life. The Puma also stands for empowering you to be fiercely protective of your loved ones, especially the children especially the children. If you don't understand what the fairies are sharing here, it is time to start doing some major, major research for yourself concerning children in general. And believe me, it does include yours. To put it bluntly, your children are on the menu too. So think about that and let the puma enter you. Let it give you that power to protect, fiercely protect your children. So we began this universal science journey for the week of August 23rd through 29th of 2021 with the dove who, as we talked about, represents peace of the deepest kind for us. And it was that dove that took you on this journey. And it is a dove that is, as a spirit messenger, signing off, showing you that you have seen what you need to for the week. And again, wishing you the deepest of peace and renewal in mind silence. In stopping the mind chatter, 
You're allowing yourself to listen to the heart. Humanity needs this now. Listen to the heart. You're the Tin Man.